Hey guys, just a quick uh, video on my Ender 6. Um, I spent like literally like a whole month trying to print Pet G, even with my volcano setup. Uh, it was just, it just headache. I would just get some issues with extruder, um, things just clogging. Or, you know, it, it would work fine for like smaller objects once I start printing something big. It starts clogging again. I check, double check everything. Um, so I really don't recommend petting Pet G because this Bowden tube, it just, it's just terrible for this kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, after I upgrade it to two Perusa printers, um, it's actually printing out uh, the new part. Um, I'm printing out, I got a new Harem. Ah. Hamera, uh, Hamera extruder for my Ender 6. Um, the only thing with the Perusa MK3S Plus is that you, the volume, uh, printing volume is very, very small. So, but it prints really flawless, uh, especially PET G. And this is a direct uh, extruder setup. Um, so, I think you can get, I mean, I was getting really good results with PLA. Uh, even carbon fiber um, just you know you just have to it's just a lot of adjusting messing with uh, the retraction settings with every filament with this nothing like it you know, there's not barely any retraction so with different materials you just put it in and you're good to go and when I got this this is when I realized I definitely need a direct extruder um, for my Ender 6 so it's actually printing out uh, the mount for the Ender 6. Uh, this one I actually found on Thingiesverse. So it should work, so I should have it up. And hopefully my Ender 6 is going to print just as well as Prusa. Um, I think it can, it totally can. It's a very good printer, the Core XY. Um, just with the wrong Bowden uh, setup. Bowden setup is just not, not great other than PLA. Um, so once I print this out, uh, it's only going to take like an hour. I'm going to go ahead and put that new direct extruder and hopefully printing printing away and getting rid of this. This thing is just junk, the, the, the extruder that comes with Ender 6. Unless you're going to just print PLA all the time, you want to fiddle with your printer all the time. Um, so this is going to really help my printer. And yeah, you don't really need a volcano, volcano on this. It's just overkill. Um, what you really definitely need uh, after spending months actually on this Ender 6, I've had constant problems. But it's just get a direct extruder. It's just gonna save, make everything easier, make everything print better, especially with different materials, especially if you wanna go like um, PET G, AVS, you know, polycarbonate, uh, carbon fiber. But once you upgrade it, it should give you much, much bigger volume results. I would say just as good as the Perusa um, and much faster prints. So I'll have a bunch of tests on it when I'm done uh, with printing this out. I just want to give you an update on my broken Ender 6. I'm just tired of it. So I'm just going to replace it uh, the, with the direct extruder. Bye.